Leaders from the 10 member countries of the Association of Southeast Asian Nations were supposed to have met in Vietnam in April for the ASEAN summit. Instead, they'll be dialing in through video conference on Friday. Much like the rest of the world, ASEAN countries are reopening their economies. Vietnam is ahead of the curve, having ended its nationwide physical distancing campaign in the third week of April. Indonesia, with the highest number of coronavirus cases in the region, is gradually reopening its economy this month. The single most uh, important unifying uh, factor for ASEAN is indeed economic uh, cooperation. Uh, that uh, all these ASEAN countries, because most of them are developing countries, they would like to see how they can better use this, uh, shall we say, dialogue mechanism, coordination mechanism to develop the economy. The impact of the pandemic extends to geopolitics. Talks between ASEAN and Chinese officials to finalize a code of conduct in disputed parts of the South China Sea have been pushed back. In recent years, China has been increasingly aggressive in staking its claims, harassing fishing boats and building military installations on contested islands. Another more urgent issue facing the region is the Rohingya crisis. Hundreds of Rohingya refugees, a mainly Muslim minority in Myanmar, have taken dangerous boat journeys this year to escape poverty in refugee camps in Bangladesh or persecution in Myanmar. Dozens have died. Southeast Asian countries aren't particularly welcoming to Rohingya refugees. Earlier this month, the Malaysian Marine Police had intended to push a boat carrying nearly 270 of them back out to international waters, but were unable to do so because the engine was damaged. The refugees have been detained at a government center. Malaysian authorities say there's another vessel carrying around 500 Rohingya adrift at sea. On Wednesday, nearly 100 Rohingya refugees were rescued by fishermen off the coast of Indonesia's Aceh province. ASEAN Parliamentarians for Human Rights, a collective of MPs from the region, has called on ASEAN to pressure Myanmar to end its persecution of the Rohingya. ASEAN has traditionally adopted a policy of non-interference in what it deems a member state's internal affairs. ASEAN uh, also, of course, uh, picks and chooses uh, the kind of uh, strategic and regional issues that it wants to uh, devote its uh, attention and resources to. But with the Rohingya crisis a regional issue, ASEAN may find that it's time to take a stronger stand. Florence Louis, Al Jazeera, Kuala Lumpur.